Diego, set to be crowned world number one um, next week, Monday, the 17th of April, 2023. Uh, you know, what, what's that feeling like to know that you're going to be the new world number one? Yeah, no, it's great. Uh, it's it's a dream come true. Um, yeah, it's, it's weird getting it this way when I'm still playing the tournament and also the British Open, which is one of the most important ones of the year. So I've been trying not to think too much about it and just uh, and then celebrate on Monday. <laughs> and obviously the first South American player, male or female, to achieve world number one status, that, that is a huge achievement. Um, what, what does that mean to you personally? Yeah, it's it's huge. It's, it's something I've been training for. This is my my dream since when I was I was very young. Uh, I think it's huge for for South America. For I mean, I think in in all America, only Jonathan was number one before me. So and he's he's been by my side for most of my career. So it's just great to join him and. And yeah, I'm just I'm just super super excited. Where were you when you found out the news, and and how do you get news that you're the new world number one? Obviously, we had that match with Karim when he beat Mohammed, which was influential. Yeah, I was actually on court uh, at the at the club in the normal courts. I was training with uh, with Wael, and and yeah, we were just we were doing a normal session, but I just couldn't hit the ball. I had the, the life score outside. Uh, I was watching it out there every two minutes, and and then when it got to like eight seven, uh, Victor came to. He was doing a Dunlop photo shoot, and he was watching watching the match on his phone. So I just watched the last the last ten minutes of the match, and it was it was just crazy because it was also like a an amazing match. Like the end was very. I was I was so nervous. Like it was it was it was great, and I, then I. I saw the result and I was just, I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it. I don't know what, how, how to feel. <laughs> and you've got your, your family with you. We know we, you, you travel with your dad as well. And, um, and your mum's here this week. And, and that must be really special to have your, your family around you on, on such a big occasion. Yeah, I, my dad comes with me to most of the tournaments. And, and yeah, it's just, it's lucky that I have my mum here too. I... I told her to come like two or three weeks ago because uh, I haven't been home in a long time and the last two tournaments I didn't do very well. So I just wanted to be more with with my family, feel more like home. And and it's just great that this happened when, when they were here. <laughs> How did they take the news? What was their reaction? Oh, my dad had a few beers and he was just, <laughs> <laughs> he was just so happy. And my mom too, like, like I said, is something we've been working for for so many years uh, we come from peru so squash is not not big at all and uh, just uh, doing that coming from there is is amazing what do you think the reaction will be back home in in lima in peru uh, family and friends that that you may or may not have spoken to yet about you becoming world number one uh, no they are all like so happy they they have been mess messaging me like all day, the last couple of days. So many people, people that I don't know, like famous people from Peru, people that I like, I have, I have no, no relationship with, and it's just great. I think it's it's great for Peru too. I don't think there is any other sport that they have a a world number one. So yeah, just uh, it's it's history. So <laughs> so just very happy and and hopefully I can keep it for a long time. It's definitely going to inspire the next generation of young squash players. Uh, who inspired you when when you started out? Um, well, I I had uh, Jonathan helping me f since I was young and he's been my idol for forever. And, and then Miguel was, of course, uh, the top player in South America. He got to number four and uh, he made he, made, he also made history for squash in South America, and, and yeah, he helped me a lot also during my during my career. He's he's been a huge help. He's a great friend, and and yeah, I'm just happy I can I could get I could get to this and and join both of them in the top of the world. 
So if you go back to the start of the season, um, was becoming world number one one of your challenges? Was it one of your goals? Um, at the start of the season, I can't remember what was my ranking, but probably four or five. Um, yeah, it, it was a goal, but it was I knew it was going to be hard. I just I think I, I put a lot of work at the start of the season and and then the results came and and I won a, a couple of the big tournaments and then that's when I saw that okay I'm I'm very close to to world number 1 and and yeah that that's when when I realized it was very close before that I it was a it was a dream I was I was training for that but I didn't think it was going to come this quick <laughs> So what do you have to do to ensure that you stay at the summit? It's, you know, it's all very well putting in the hard work to get there, but, but what do you have to do to ensure that, you know, the likes of Paul and Ali, Mustafa, Mohammed, uh, even Kareem, who's sort of battling back all former world number ones themselves. How do you ensure those guys don't get back to the top of the summit? No, they are all amazing players and I'm sure all of them at some point, they're all going to uh, come back to the top, but I'm just going to for now, try and and stay there as long as I can. I I feel good. I think this season I've been, like you said, uh, having a lot of good results and and I just wanna yeah, I just wanna try and keep keep winning all these big tournaments and and not put not put that much pressure on myself. I I already I got to to where I wanted to get. I, the pressure is not on me any. In, it's not on me anymore. I just, I'm just gonna enjoy it and try to win these these big titles. And so, what's the the strength of the men's game at the moment? How how strong is it in comparison to how it's been over other seasons when you've been making your way up through the world rankings? Um, I think I'm, I'm just a lot more mature and uh, a lot stronger physically. I think that was one of the of my weakest uh, parts in, in in my game. I I had a lot of injuries at, in my career. I maybe I wasn't strong enough to play four, three, four matches in a row with top players, and I think now I can do it. Uh, I've done it in a, in a few tournaments already, so I'm I'm a lot more confident on on my on my fitness, and yeah, I think that made a big a big change, a big difference. Listen, mm. thank you very much for taking some time <laughs> out and best of luck with the rest of the British Open. Thank you. And congratulations on being the new world number thank one. You. Congratulations, Diego. Thank you. Yeah, good date that. Monday the 17th of April, 2023. You'll never forget <laughs> it. <laughs> Thanks very much for your time.